I want to give props to a local kid. And the end of the Pac-12 ended with Oregon State losing to Kentucky as Kentucky makes its way to Omaha for its first College World Series appearance. If you don't know how the college baseball um, playoffs work, what happens is 64 teams make the tournament. They're broken into 16 uh, regionals. And you have to win a four-team tournament in those 16 regionals, double elimination. The winner of those regionals advance to the higher seeds home for a super regional, which is best two out of three. Those eight teams move on to a double elimination tournament, which is the College World Series in Omaha. You get it? Every year we've had um, local kids that have competed one way or the other on this magnificent stage. And the Pac-12 ended last night with Oregon State being eliminated by Kentucky 3-2 to two in a great game, terrific game. And Kentucky had Oregon State's number. They blew Oregon State out the previous game, but it was a close game last night. The reason I'm bringing this up, one, the Pac-12 is now as a doornail. That is the last official Pac-12 team in the baseball tournament, and that's it. There's no other NCAA sports involving the Pac-12. So it goes out with the whimper with the uh, batter for Oregon State keeping the bat on his hand as Kentucky struck him out. But I want to acknowledge um, the left fielder and the four-hole hitter. Four-hole hitter for Oregon State, and that is Dallas Macias. Dallas is a kid I've known since he was five. He, um, We met him in the Grandview Wrestling Club, where my son, who's a couple years older, would wrestle against Dallas. And, you know, at the time when my kid was seven and Dallas was five, Every now and then, he would win. Every now and then. Dallas Macias is one of the most talented athletes to come out of the state of Colorado, period. Had he stayed in wrestling or football, um, he would have been a state champion top to bottom. In fact, he was a great football player at Regis High School. But his dad, Gino, um, and his older brother, Gino, as well, um, helped Dallas become a tremendous baseball player more than anything. He was... Unfortunately, part of the COVID curse with a lot of these high school kids. Still, he was tremendous at Regis, Mr. Baseball in Colorado, deservedly so. And he went goes on to Oregon State, where as a sophomore, he hit well over 300. And last night, to see a kid that I've known since he was five years old um, play on that stage. And we've been following our family, Dallas, all year as he's hit over 300 for the Beavs. He makes us incredibly proud. And he is not only an extraordinary baseball player who I will be stunned if he's not drafted. He's not even eligible. He's only a sophomore. So he's not even draft eligible until the end of next year. Clearly, he'll be a solid part of the Oregon State lineup, which is an amazing place to play baseball up in Corvallis. And um, Dallas is just one of the classiest young men you'll ever meet in your life who's worked his absolute tail off and also comes with a ridiculous amount of natural talent. Dallas in the game yesterday um, hit into an error, but the Oregon State Beavers scored two runs um, without getting a hit. And then Dallas reached base in the eighth inning um, via walk and stole second base. So in terms of contributing to the effort, four out of uh, two out of four times he got on base in, in a game that was that tightly contested, that is a hell of an accomplishment. Plays great in left field. He was a shortstop. He could play anything on the field. He's that talented. Dallas Macias will be a major league baseball player. He, it's not that he will just be drafted. He will be a major league baseball player. And so if you just want to, I knew him when, wrap your heads around that name if you haven't heard. Everybody in the baseball community in Colorado knows Dallas Macias. That's for sure. But I just want to take a little time out to point out how amazing Dallas is, not just as a player, uh, but as a person. And, and and let me tell you, he is the result of what happens when the most talented kids, players, work the hardest. Sorry that the season ended. Would have loved to see Dallas Macias play in Omaha, as it was awesome watching Jack Moss play in Omaha for Texas A&M. And Jack's an incredible person, too and a great player, and he's out of Cherry Creek High School. So I'm proud of our local kids, and um, and we wish them the best of luck. 
Dallas, I'm sorry that your season has ended, but man, keep going. Keep going, Dallas Messias.